The United States Navy revealing they will likely fall short of their 37,000 sailor recruiting goal for the year, estimating that they'll be short 7,000 new sailor recruits. Could woke Department of Defense policies be to blame, at least in part, or a big part? Retired Army Ranger and Special Forces Operator Tim Kennedy joins us with his take. Tim, great to see you. That's a big number, missing your mark by 7,000. Uh, there's been a lot of ways in which the Navy is recruited to include trans videos from sailors saying, we want you to serve too. What do you make of the Navy falling so short and, and shortages across the DOD? Yeah, I... I I think we've failed to identify our identity. You know, we are a warrior nation and um, serving your country should transcend personal identity. And when we're pointing towards a personal identity, whatever that be, um, it, we're, we're doing it wrong. You know, yeah. we, we have been the most inclusive body of people in American history, the military, you know, looking back to like Triple Nickel, the Tuskegee Airmen, Navajo Wind Talkers, we were always the first to bring in with open arms as many as we could that wanted to serve their country. But the operative word was serve. So I think we're really missing the mark on who we're trying to talk to here. It's such an important point. You join the military not so that you can stand out as an individual, but so that you can join a team that has a bigger purpose. And so if you're appealing to a certain identity, you get a certain person, or you don't get anybody at all. I mean, how much is the military, how much do you think the whole, the woke thing, the DEI thing, the trans thing has to do with how potential recruits view the Navy or the Army or any service? That's a, it's a, it's a good question, Pete. You know, I, I want everyone to know that the military, and you know this, we, we do not look at skin color, we do not look at race, Absolutely. creed, religion, like come and serve, but know that you are gonna be part of the baddest group of people on the planet. And we're the baddest group of people on the planet because we wanna serve. You know, and, and America being a superpower has been squandered in every single measurable way, scientific, technology, production, manufacturing. The one thing that is keeping us there in that seat is our military, and it's because it's full of men and women that want to serve. You know, them picking specifically a trans group, which, which is less than a tenth of a percent within the military, you know, like why they're making these strategic decisions blows my mind. You know, 16% of military are women that can now serve at the front line on combat arms in special operations. Let's target them. You know, but most importantly, like we need war fighters because we are looking at perhaps the scariest enemy in our nation's history. You're absolutely right. And where will our readiness be? First part of readiness is having enough people to be ready. And then later on, you have to focus them and make sure they have the training and equipment to do the job. But the ethos, too, is yeah. what you're talking about, Tim, that team yeah. ethos that is, uh, is lacking right now. Appreciate your insight, uh, everything you continue to stand for, Tim. My pleasure, Pete. Good to see you.